Today we're taking a look at the 2021 Expedition X30. Welcome back to Mike's Archery's YouTube and we are here taking a look at the new 2021 Expedition X30. Now this is a brand new bow from Expedition and they've come into the carbon riser market with this bow and it's one that frankly we've been really wanting to get our hands on to kind of play with and give you guys our thoughts and, and where this bow sits against some of the competition and uh, we're just excited to have it here today and we got a rep here from Expedition. He brought in his actual personal sample that he's shooting and the speed rating on this bow is 350 feet per second. They're giving it a little bit of a range of 350, 352. The axle to axle on this bow, the spec number on that is 29.625 inches with a little bit of variance according to the spec sheet from Expedition. So that's your 30 inch axle to axle bow and that's right where it's falling. Now the spec weight from Expedition is calling this bow at 3.6 pounds. Now you know how we like to do things around here and we had to vary a little bit from what we have done in the past because this is our reps bow and he came in with it completely set up. We stripped it down as much as we possibly could uh, to get it back to that boxed out of the box weight but we were not able to take his ham ski rest off there because we did not want to mess that up. So we did a couple of things uh, to give you a true number on this bow. We took the Hamsky rest uh, out of the package, we weighed all of that, and came up with just shy of six ounces with his extra monkey tails and stuff on there. We just rounded it off at a solid six ounces for the rest and accessories that were left off here. So that'll kind of give you an idea of where we're at when we weighed this bow. Now with them saying it's 3.6, we threw it on the scale, and obviously with the rest on there, we got 4.4 pounds. Now when you factor out that Hamsky rest uh, at six ounces, it gives you 4.025 pounds, getting it down a little bit to where we thought it should have been. So right at four pounds is where the out of the box weight should be, maybe just a fudge over. Now we stripped uh, the rest of the stuff off of here as far as the limb dampeners after that uh, and kind of got it down to where we were showing it at four pounds on the scale with the rest on there. Now, if you factor out that six ounces from the Hamsky rest, that gets it down to 3.625 pounds, which is pretty much spot on spec weight from what Expedition is telling us. So with all those things, you know, variables in there, uh, we're going to give Expedition a pretty good rating on, on telling you the truth on the true weight of this bow, because with all our calculations, we're getting it at 3.625 and a scale can have enough variance in there to not really matter on that. So when they're telling you 3.62 pounds, out of the box, if you pull the limb dampeners, it's going to be 3.6 pounds, give or take a little bit. So that's really good. The draw length adjustment on this cam, and this is their new lever cam uh, for this bow that they came out with, and it has got quite a bit of adjustment in draw length. It's 25 and a half to 30 inches on the draw length adjustment, and that's all on a sliding rotating mod uh, that's going to give you real easy adjustment, real easy setup, and allow you to tweak with this bow if you need to. Brace height on this bow is coming in at six and a quarter inches, which is just a little higher than what we're seeing out of a lot of the manufacturers today, but still comparable right there. It's not going to give it much more forgiveness uh, compared to some of the competition. Now, all the bows have 80% let off uh, as the option on this bow. They don't have adjustable let off but 80% is right there in the wheelhouse of where you want to be anyway. Some folks like a little more let off than that, but it still gives a good feel to this cam. Now let's talk a little bit about this riser. Now the riser is a brand new material. Now they're calling it a carbon riser bow, but it is not a true pure carbon riser bow. It is a new proprietary uh, alloy mixture that they have fused several alloys with carbon fiber all into one carbon nanotechnology to get this riser that they have created. So when we're calling it a carbon riser bow, there are some alloys that they wouldn't tell us what they are, but they're mixed in there with that carbon fiber, but that's giving it extra rigidity and stiffness in that riser. It's giving it that light weight of the carbon, but the stiffness of an aluminum and a really good feel overall out of this bow. Now with that carbon riser, is a very nice grip that they put on this bow. It's a nice, slim, what I would almost consider a target style grip. Uh, it's going to sit in your hand very well. Uh, balance on this bow is going to be very good, even though it's lightweight. 
A couple of the other features that they built into this bow, it is a limb stop cam. And I know I didn't mention that when we were talking about the cams, but it is a limb stop option on this cam so that you can get that rock hard back wall if you want it. One of the other features they added to this bow is dual stabilizer holes front and back. You got your standard stabilizer hole like you do on any bow. And then they've put a lower stabilizer hole in the back, getting that weight down here near the limb pockets at the bottom of the riser which is just going to allow you to weight that bow up and balance it out any way that you see fit. Now from there, uh, the cable guard is uh, an interesting, very short uh, roller cable guard. And it's a solid piece all the way out till it touches the cable uh, slide there. And then it only moves about a quarter of an inch during the draw cycle and then comes back and it's got some rubber uh, stoppers there to take the noise and vibration out of the movement of that roller slide. But when you're drawing it, there's no chatter, uh, no resistance there. It's a very smooth uh, drawing through that cable rod. From there, this bow is offered in six colors. Now they've got three Realtree camo options on this bow, as well as three solid. This one being the black, as well as tan and OD green. And like I said, three variations of Realtree available. And you can mix and match those colors on this bow. You can swap limbs and riser and really customize the colors out if you want a little different look to your bow having a different colored riser from your limbs. Now every bow is coming standard with gas bow strings from the factory. So putting really nice high-end quality strings on this bow. Now here's where Expedition shines on a carbon riser bow. They're coming in considerably less than most of the competition. MSRP on this bow is $1399. MAP is $12.99, and maybe if you know your dealer really well, you might get a little off of that, but $12.99 is the MAP retail on this bow. Now you compare that to some of the other competition that's hitting $15, $16, even $1,700 for a carbon riser bow, and you've got a great package that you will want to take a look at if you're wanting that carbon feel, carbon weight especially, uh, because this is definitely one of the lightest bows that we have shot this year. And if you're wanting a carbon bow for weight factor, definitely take a look at an Expedition and keep a few hundred bucks in your pocket. So now that we've covered all the specs, let's step outside and shoot this bow over the chronograph. Like we always do, we're going to be using that 400 grain arrow with a 29 inch draw, 80% let off. And this bow is only going to be 64, 65 pounds. It was a 60 pound max and we maxed it out. So that'll give you the baseline of where these numbers are coming from. We've stepped outside and we're going to shoot the Expedition X30 over the chronograph and just kind of see what kind of specs it's putting up, give you an idea of the feel and things. As always, we are shooting this bow with a 400 grain arrow. Uh, we've set it up at 29 inch draw with 80% let off. And it is pulling about 64, 65 pounds. This was a 60 pound bow that we got and uh, we maxed it out and got about 64 pounds uh, when we turned it all the way up. So that'll give you an idea of the baseline of where these numbers are coming from. So let's, uh, let's take a few shots and see what this thing gets. So 281 on that one, we've been bouncing right there, 280, 282. Uh, has been where the speed has been falling on this bow, which on a 64 pound bow, you know, 60 pound max uh, is about where you would expect it. You know, you get another five to eight pounds on there at 70, 71 pounds, you're going to get uh, several more feet a second out of that. You're going to be bumping, you know, 290 or so. So overall speed rating on that bow, very good. Um, you know, it's right there where it should be. And as far as the sound, uh, decibel meter is reading 99.6. And that is falling right there where we've been seeing most bows uh, shoot as far as a noise rating is just under 100, you know, 98, 99. But uh, so it's comparable to all the other flagship bows that we've been testing as far as the noise factor on it. Um, from there, the feel of this bow, uh, as far as the draw curve, it does feel pretty good. I mean, it's right there, I would say, in the middle of most of the bows we've shot. It's not exceptionally smooth, but it's smooth enough. Um, you know, it, but it's not too harsh either. It, it's getting plenty of speed out of it. It does roll over. It doesn't build up too heavy on the top end of it getting into that valley. Uh, now, as far as the valley is concerned, it does want to go a little bit. And that's probably where they're getting that speed out of this bow. And, uh, you know, it, it wants to pull through just a little bit. And uh, so relaxing on the shot may not be the best thing. But if you like to pull hard and, and pull through on your shot real well, then, 
you know, this bow is going to suit you pretty well. As far as the grip, you know, this is a carbon alloy bow and it's a pretty cold day here in January while we're testing this thing outside. I, you know, I, I can't tell you that it's any warmer than any other bow. It's probably a little warmer than putting your hand on a, uh, a pure aluminum bow, but it's still cold in the hand here on a, on a chilly day. But a nice thin grip, I would compare it to pretty much uh, most of the grips on the market today. It's a very straight line, thin grip. It's going to sit in your hand really well. The after shot on this thing as far as, uh, you know, deadness, it's a dead bow. It is a good feeling bow on the shot and uh, just an overall great package here from Expedition. I know everybody's been wanting to see what this X30 was gonna put up. And, um, you know, I, I think it's definitely a contender. If you're looking at a carbon riser bow and you don't wanna spend the extra, you know, money on some of the others that are, you know, a few hundred bucks more than this, uh, this is definitely a contender and it'll shoot right there with any of them. So if you're looking for an Expedition, give us a call at Mike's Archery and we'll get you set up.